Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss, what is software development life cycle. The software industry is one of the largest industry that employs large number of computer science professionals. A software is a type of computer program that has been designed and developed that provides solution to a specific problem. The software is also alternately referred as software package. However, developing any software is not easy and the software design team has to plan and execute many activities to achieve the desired results. The software development life cycle is the process used in the software industry to design and develop a new software. The software development life cycle defines the various steps involved in the planning and execution of any software development project. The software development project typically involves many activities and goes through different development of stages. These stages in the development process are also referred as software development life cycle phases. The software development life cycle can be broadly split into seven phases and this includes 1. Software planning 2. Defining the requirements for the software 3. Designing a software based on the requirements 4. Building the software 5. Software testing and validation 6. Software deployment and installation And finally, 7. Software maintenance The final outcome of the software development life cycle process is the software that meets the client's requirements and the design objectives that software must achieve. Let us now discuss each of these software design phase in detail. The software design process starts with the planning process. The planning process is the most important step, which helps the software design team to plan for all the resources required to complete the project within stipulated time and resources. During the planning stage, the software development team has to plan for various activities, manpower resources, infrastructure required and other resources required to complete the project. The next phase in the software development process is referred as defining the software requirements. This process is also alternately referred to as requirement solicitation. In the requirement solicitation process, the software development team extensively interact with all the stakeholders to capture and map all the information necessary for defining the software requirements specifications. These user requirements document is abbreviated as SRS. The software developer must document this important piece of information, which is part of the agreement with the client company. After the project completion, the software performance is assessed against the SRS and agreed design objectives. The next and third phase in the software development process is referred as designing the software. The software designing phase includes finalizing the various design features in terms of both software requirements and the supporting hardware requirements. The software architects and the software developers explore the various alternative approaches and finally propose the product solution. The software developer design the software system and specify the technology to develop the software system. The software architect document this information about the product architecture in the design document specifications also referred to as DDS. The next and fourth phase in the software development process is actually building the software with suitable technology and tools. After finalizing the software requirements specifications SRS software design features and the software system architecture the next step is to actually start building the software by coding. Depending upon the type of the software that is being developed, the software development team can select the technology to be used for the development of the software. The software development team can select the suitable platform, programming language, software framework, database management system, and other building tools, as specified in the software system architecture. The software building activities includes coding the various modules, debugging the program code, compiling the various software components, and testing the functionality. The next and fifth phase in the software development process is the software testing. 
Once the software coding task is completed and the final software product is ready for deployment, the software is subjected to rigorous and extensive testing before its final deployment and delivery to the client. The software testing is the standard process used in the software industry to test the software for its performance, accuracy of results, user experience to ensure the satisfaction of the user expectations. The software testing includes conducting comprehensive set of tests to identify the gaps, errors, deviations in the final software product. The software development team carries out the necessary corrections in the software. The software testing process aims at complete elimination of all the software bugs before its final delivery to the client. The software bugs are defects in the software that can cause malfunction of the software and damage. The next and sixth phase in the software development process is the software deployment and its successful installation. The software is considered to be ready for deployment after building the software and it has successfully gone through all the tests to ensure a bug-free software and other quality parameters. After its successful installation, the next task is to impart training to the end user. The software has to complete user acceptance trials. The last and seventh phase in the software development process is the software maintenance phase. The software maintenance phase of the SDLC starts after the software deployment process is completed and the software is fully operational. The software maintenance tasks include number of activities such as periodic software upgrades, software patches, database cleanup operations, and resolving any other issues. That brings us to the end of this video tutorial, and in this tutorial we have discussed what is a software development life cycle and various phases in the software development process. Please visit our website, www.learncomputerscienceonline.com, to learn computer science online. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up, and, consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with, another computer science tutorial.